Ha <laughs> Subaki. We finally meet again. I'm going to embarrass you for good today. Oh, I'm done for. I have nothing left to live for anymore. Hey, Suzu? What the hell? Why is she like this today? She's acting like the world is ending tomorrow. What the hell happened to her? My name isn't Susu. It's Kaharu. But I have no idea what's gotten into her. She's been like this all day. Huh? So you don't know what happened to her either? I can't do this anymore. I... I have to have that. Or else... I'm done for. Hey, Subaki. Come on. Compose yourself. Tell me what happened. Come on, Subaki. <laughs> I'm done for. I can't do this anymore. You can't get through to her either, huh? I've been trying to talk to her all day, but she hasn't been willing to communicate with me at all. Then I'm left with no choice. Hey, Watson. My name isn't Watson. It's Suzu. No, wait, it's Kaharu. Huh? Why don't you just call me Watson? We're going to solve this mystery and help Subaki get back to her usual self. We have to do this for her. Only we can help her. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Sherlock Holmes sidekick Watson? Looks like you are. And how the heck did you change into those clothes so quickly? But you're right. We have to be the ones to save her. We're her best friends, and we owe it to her. Let's do this. My name is Amy. I've been embarrassing my friend Subaki every day for years now. It's become part of my daily routine at this point. You may be asking me why I'm so fixated on embarrassing her. Well, the answer is simple. Subaki is the daughter of the CEO of the Kamein Group. She's smart, and she's a very talented athlete. She's also one of the best-looking people I've ever seen, and she's good at anything she does. She's as perfect of a human being that could exist. No, that's not fair, is it? So I made it my life's purpose to embarrass this spoiled brat. But unfortunately, it seems like someone got to her before me today. Now, did they think I would just let them do that to her? I'm going to find them by whatever means necessary, and I'm going to embarrass them. Yes, hello, who is it? Oh, it's you guys again. Welcome, Amy and Susu. Hey, Sabaki's butler. My name isn't Susu. It's Kaharu. I get what Amy calls me Susu, but why are you doing it as well? Oh, I am so sorry, Miss Koharu. I apologize for the mistake, but how may I help you guys? Subaki is out right now with violin practice, but... I'm not here for Subaki today. I'm here to talk to you. Uh, me? Really? That's right. Lately, Sabaki has been acting very weird. Would you happen to know anything about it? You spend the most time around her, don't you? Acting weird, huh? Well, I don't really know what's been going on, but you're right. She has been acting a bit strange lately, hasn't she? Not just a bit. She's been acting very strange. Wait, I, I think I might know something about that. Wait, you do? Hold on, who are you? I don't think I've met you before. My name is Sarah. I'm a maid that just started working here. Lately, Miss Tsubaki's favorite drink, the matcha latte, has been disappearing from the fridge. I think that's what's been bothering her. But I don't think she would be that distraught over a drink. No, but the matcha latte is really important to her. It was her routine to drink it right after getting out of the shower. She said she always looked forward to it every day. She even said it was like gasoline to her. Matcha latte? Are you sure? I thought Miss Tsubaki only drank matcha tea. Oh, shoot! I forgot she told me not to tell anyone about this. I need you to keep this between us, all right? Don't tell her I said anything. Kaharu, this might actually be a real possibility. Subaki cares deeply about what she eats and drinks. You're right, and sometimes she cares a little too much about it. I think her favorite drink going missing is a crisis for her. All right, we have to find the person that's been stealing Subaki's maca latte. Yes, let's do it. If we stop them, Subaki should go back to her usual self. Everyone in this building is a suspect. We have to make sure we catch them before it gets too late. And so, we went to see the person who we suspected the most. Excuse me. Hey, I didn't say you could come in. Knock, goddammit. Uh, wait, Amy? Kaharu? What's going on? I'm gonna skip the small talk. Are you the one that's been stealing Subaki's maca latte from the fridge? Huh? Lately, Subaki's maca latte has been disappearing from the fridge. I don't know anything about that. Well, you're her father, and you guys are hyper fixated on food, so... Hey, that's not nice. And so you're our number one suspect right now. I said that I don't know what you guys are talking about. Don't treat me like I'm a criminal. But she's been drinking matcha latte, huh? How many times do I have to tell her? Huh? What is it, Amy? Let's go, Kaharu. We're done here. Let's go talk to someone else. Huh? Sure. But he looked really nervous. I think it might actually be him. And he loves to eat and drink, so I can see him doing this. No, I don't think it's him. Huh? How come? Why are you so certain? I'll tell you later. Right now, we have to focus on narrowing our suspects down. But if it isn't Subaki's dad, 
It might be someone from outside the family. Outside of the family, you say? That's right. I found this by the fridge earlier. What is this? It's a badge that has the Yuasa clan logo on it? And it has Inazuka's name on it, too. Wait, does that mean Mr. Inazuka has been the one stealing Tsubaki's maca latte? Probably. <sighs> I can't believe this is happening. Why would he do such a thing? And this is not fair to Miss Tsubaki. <laughs> I know who the real culprit is now. We all do. It has to be Inazuka, right? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Can you gather everyone to the dining room? Everyone should hear this. Oh, okay. <laughs> he thought he could get away with it, huh? <laughs> That's hilarious. You can't fool me. I'm going to embarrass you real good now. Amy, Kaharu just told me that you know who's been stealing my maca latte from the fridge. Tell me, who is it? That's right. So? Who? Tell me. Tsubaki, you're not going to believe this, but it was Mr. Inazuka from the Uwasa clan the entire time. Hmm. Mr. Inazuka from the Uwasa clan? I can't believe it. I guess I'm just going to have to declare war on the Uwasa clan now. Uh, hold on. I think Amy called him here already. He should be on his way. No, I didn't call him here. Wait, why not? Because he isn't the one that did this. Wait, what? B but his badge was on the ground by the fridge, right? It even has his name on it. Who else could it be? Kaharu, this badge is a replica. A replica? That's right. Heiji has actually been selling these replica Inazuka badges for a while now. A lot of his fans have bought these. Wait, so you're telling me that that badge could have belonged to anyone? That's right. But... Then who's actually the culprit? Well, they're here in the room with us right now. In here? So it is someone from the family, huh? Wait, what are you looking at me for? I have nothing to do with this. Besides, I've been drinking the matcha latte with Tsubaki for a while now. She shares it with me in exchange for my silence. Hey, why would you say that in front of everyone? Now everyone knows about this. Tsubaki, everyone already knew it's not her fault. It's not me either. I'm a pretty petty person, but I would never do something like this. Don't you get sad calling yourself petty like that? So the culprit isn't here then. I can go and ask the other maids to come down here as well if you want. No, there's no need for that. The culprit is definitely in this room with us right now. Then, who's behind this, Amy? Stop edging us, Amy! You have to tell us your theory, now! <laughs> the true culprit is... The true culprit is... Is... You! Huh? My butler? joke, right? Ami, what are you talking about? There's no way it could possibly be me. Well, you are the one that found Inazuka's pin badge. Wait, that's your reasoning? Well, I looked around the fridge very, very thoroughly before I talked to Tsubaki's father, but I didn't see any badges on the ground. Well, you must have just missed it then. It was just tucked away in a corner, so... And besides, I don't even like sweet stuff. That's right. My butler hates eating sweet stuff. It's true. It can't be him. He wasn't the one that drank it. Tsubaki told me earlier that she put wasabi in her drink the other day to see if the culprit would give up on stealing her drink after that. But that had no effect. Wait, you did that? Well, I wanted it to stop, you know? I had no choice. So that means the culprit doesn't have to be a sweet tooth. No, it's not me. It can't be me. Then how do you explain the numerous cups of maca latte I found in your room? I knew it was you after you found Inazuka's badge, and I investigated your room afterwards to search for any evidence. What? So it was you, huh? I can't believe it! Hey, Yoshimura, explain yourself. Why would you steal my daughter's drink from the fridge? Mr. Yoshimura, you've been stealing my drink even though you can't drink it? Does that mean you were doing this to stick it to me? D did I do something to irritate you or piss you off? Uh, no, this isn't what it seems like. There's a very good reason behind all of this and... <laughs> I've already figured out that reason as well. Don't worry, he wasn't trying to embarrass you, Subaki. He was trying to embarrass your father. Me? Yoshimura, you bastard! Shut up. I'm not done talking. There's more to this story. What? Your butler actually had no idea that you've been drinking maca latte every night, Tsubaki. What? Oh, you're right! He was surprised when he heard me say that the maca latte was Miss Tsubaki's. That's right. And that's because Tsubaki has been drinking maca latte without telling anyone besides Sarah. You probably didn't tell anyone because your father banned you from drinking sweet stuff, didn't you? That's exactly right. Well, uh, sweet stuff isn't particularly good for you, so I'm just trying to limit my intake of sugar as well. <laughs> well, that's because you physically can't eat sweet stuff. What do you mean? Tsubaki's father has diabetes. What? Uh, wait, how do you know about that? When I talked with you in your room, I saw a drug vial that said insulin on it. Insulin is used to treat diabetes, if you guys didn't know. How do you know this? Well, I did some research on diabetes, so I'd be ready if and when Tsubaki got it. 
but I would obviously prevent that from happening beforehand, though. He probably ended up with diabetes after eating so much sugary stuff, like you're doing now, Subaki. But then, that makes sense. So why were you able to determine that Subaki's father wasn't the one that stole the maca latte, huh? <laughs> That's exactly right. <sighs> I was gonna take this with me to my grave. It's cause you guys came in without knocking. But why would Yoshimura steal my matcha latte then? It still doesn't make any sense. I think I figured it out. I know why. Alright, Sabaki, what's your theory? He thought the maca lattes was my father's, and he didn't want his diabetes to get worse. So that's why he threw the drinks out, right? <laughs> that's a good theory. So, is that correct? That's exactly right, Miss Tsubaki. Mr. Kayamine had tried to eat sweet stuff without telling any of us before, so I thought this was the same situation. So I did this out of concern for your body, sir. Yoshimura. Uh, wait, so when that cake I was looking forward to eating to disappeared as well, was that you as well? Yes, that was me, sir. You bastard. I worked hard all day to eat that cake before bed. I was looking forward to it so much. I cried when that cake disappeared. You know, I couldn't even tell anyone about it though because I bought the cake in secret. Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. Please forgive me. You think sorry's gonna cut it. You know what? You're fired. You stole my food, so you're fired. I don't care about you anymore. But, father, this isn't fair. Calm down. You're right. I did something unforgivable. I shouldn't work with you guys anymore. Thank you for everything, you guys. You idiot. What? Yoshimura truly cared about your health, and that's why he decided to embarrass you. He did this out of love for you, but you're gonna fire him for that? Don't you have a heart? Be human for once in your life. Yeah, and it's honestly my fault for drinking the matcha latte for telling you. You shouldn't blame Mr. Yoshimura. Damn it. You have to apologize to him, and if you're not going to apologize, then I'm firing you. Firing me? That's right. I'm gonna cut ties with you, and I'm gonna move out. What? I'm being serious right now. You better apologize to him. Fine, I will. But I guess you're right. Yoshimura did this because he cared about my health, and then I got carried away by the cake. I'm sorry, Yoshimura. Forgive me for acting out on you. Sir, I'm very, very sorry about this whole situation as well. Could I ask you to continue looking after me? Yes, of course, sir. I would love to. Yoshimura? Sir? <laughs> Aw, that's so sweet. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Alright, looks like my job here is done. And apparently, those two grew closer to each other after the incident. And now they go out on dates together on the weekends. Sarah looked disgusted when she told us that. But Tsubaki seemed happy that the two were back to being friends. So I guess everything worked out for her. And her father also stopped eating sweet stuff in secret. So that's good as well. And Yoshimura visited the Yuasa clan HQ to apologize to Inazuka about using his badge. Inazuka had no idea what he was talking about. But he still decided to shove Heiji into the ocean for selling his badge without permission. I... I have to control myself. Tsubaki, you can't. Or else I'll end up like my father. I have to hold it in. I'm gonna eat the air to make myself full. What the hell is going on? She's still acting weird. She's afraid of getting diabetes now, so she's banned herself from eating sweet stuff. But now, she's actually all strange. <laughs> Subaki, eat this. What is this? Is this a fruit? I can't eat this. I can't have anything that's sweet. But eating a fruit is good for you, you know? Sugar isn't great for you, sure, but eating a fruit can't hurt. Wait, really? That's great. Thank you so much for sharing this news with me. Then let me try some of this. Mmm, this is so good. I haven't had anything sweet in forever. <laughs> You've done it again, Amy. This is a piece of cake. No one can embarrass Tsubaki quite like me. <laughs> but that wasn't enough for me. Hello? Yes, could you bring it over, please? Yes, as soon as possible. Huh? Who were you calling just now, Sabaki? Well, that's a secret. I have a bad feeling about this. Ten minutes later. Hey, girls! Oh, shoot. Thank you so much, Heiji. You're kidding me, right? A truck full of fruit? All right, let me dig in. Mmm, this is delicious. I feel healthier already. You can't just eat a million fruits. That's not how it works. You're gonna make yourself sick if you eat that much. <laughs> I guess people never change. I managed to stop Tsubaki from devouring those fruits, but man, she never learns, does she? Looks like I'm gonna have to stick by her side until either of us dies to take care of her. What would she ever do without me? I guess I'll go to bed now, but let me think of ideas on how to embarrass Tsubaki before I go to sleep. Tsubaki, Kaharu, I love you guys. Ooh.